Hello everyone, Maurice and welcome to Invest. We talk about investing, finance, and professional development. For today's video, it is terms only. The investment topic today will be Ethereum ticket ETH. First, I just want to say happy Tuesday, everybody. Hope you have a very great week so far. And with respect to Ethereum, as I'm recording around 10 17 a.m. on the East Coast this morning, it's currently down about 12.5%, trading around like the $17, $30 mark at the level right now. And with respect to the consecutive sell-off that they've been having for the last four days so far, ever since the FOMC meeting, in combination with the James Bowler article that we got on Sunday, and also on top of the fact with respect to the Chinese crackdown news that we got from the media affectation yesterday as well, subsequently drove the sell-off to close to about 20% so far ever since the top of the $3,600. Now about close to at one point, the $1,697 level. So I'm going to go through a technical analysis to see what resistance level should we be expecting going forward or are we going to see more sell-off going forward or are we going to see more some sort of a revival going forward as well. Also, I'm going to give you guys my price predictions for year in 2021 as well. So stay tuned, stick around, let's make some money. So moving on to the technical analysis for Ethereum ticket ETH, you can see that as of recording right now, you can see that we're down about 12.5% trading around like the $1730 mark. And just to recap on our historical level recent time frame, you can see that ever since on June 15th, on last Tuesday, ever since the FOMC meeting, based on the depiction from Jerome Powell on, on his depictions on the economical outlook going forward, seems like we lean more of a positive spectrum in the short-term perspective with his expectations that inflation's affectation is going to come in sometimes around 2023, so which is subsequently postponed by one year ahead of Wall Street expectations, right? We're still going to draw some positive aff affectation to the equity side in comparison to anti-correlates on the crypto side, right? And subsequent to that, on Sunday, uh, which just happened like a couple of days ago, we also got that James Bollard article with respect to his depiction now, with respect to how it contradicts with Jerome's depictions on the inflationary outlook going forward. That James, he depicts that he expects the inflationary pressure to come in some round around like the end of 2021 or early 2022 in comparison to Jerome's expectation of 2023 going forward, which is going to drive some negative pressure on both the crypto and the equity side. And as of recent time frame on yesterday, uh, or sometimes on Sunday night, uh, during midnight to be more specific, we got the news from the Chinese media affectations on the Chinese crypto mining crackdown, which subsequently has a lot of halting across the whole Chinese nation of 90% of all the crypto mines are being shut down across the country. In addition to a lot of financial institutions in China as well, the central government of China has also put out a mandatory order to shut down all the crypto exchanges among various different financial institutions as well, which subsequently drive a lot of selling pressure across the whole crypto market, which subsequently drive the red candle that we see here ever since that sell that we had yesterday from the $2,147, all the way to at one point testing the level of like 1980, which is again, well, that was a lack of substance level that we never consolidated historically, that we subsequently drove down all the way to the $1730 level, but to be even more severe down to the $1697.46 level. And you can see that currently we're hovering at the expectation zone that we were expecting, right? The $1750 level as a form of consolidation going forward, right? So with respect to what I see going forward from here, you can see that with respect to the RSI were extremely oversold at the moment. We were way below the earth crust, the yellow line that we see here. And with respect to the MACD, we are across relatively dramatically because of this red candle, right? A lot of fear that's being driven across the nation globally as well right now, mainly coming from China, but also with respect to a lot of affectation from the US as well because of the sell-off and the lack of substance in the technical analysis perspective which subsequently drive a lot of sell-off into a more of a substantive level at the 1750, right? So would I see the stock going here? I would say that based on the technical analysis, I think we are at a good level for us to DCA right now. I am personally going to buy another five year trim today to further dollar cost average. Again, right, the 1750 is a great level to buy in, knowing the fact that we have, I told you, right, we're falling off the cliff ever since that $2,000 mark. If we break that, we are going to test a little bit on this level correlating with the, 
again, right, the $19.20 sub, right, which you see that we tested on April 7. However, the level of substantiveness is relatively weak, like I mentioned, right, which subsequently drive this more like a downward escalator, if you may, right? And as we broke that level, we subsequently drove all the way down to the $17.50 sub, right? But I know that we even jump down even further to a more severe level of the $1697 level. So I feel bad that I actually missed that level because I would have bought at that level specifically. And I think based on the fact that we've sold off like more than 20%, I would say this is more than 20% actually, like 35% to be more precise, that um, the rebound should be coming relatively shortly, knowing the fact that we are highly oversold at all level right now. However, the MACD, you can see the propensity right now for the tr for the line is, is shifting more of a downward trend right now, which makes sense because of the selling pressure that we're incurring right now, that I do foresee some sort of like a recuperation going forward from here. Just a quick heads up with respect to an uh, upcoming catalyst that we'll be incurring tomorrow. So as you remember, for tomorrow, there is a speech that's going to be given by Governor Michelle Bowman at the summit, and the summit is called the Community Development and the Economical Resiliency Summit that's going to be hosted at the Federal Reserve Bank of Cleveland um, that we should be hearing more about the inflationary outlook and with respect to the economy going forward, right? So contingent on the media affectation, contingent on the investor sentiment, per Michelle's speech tomorrow, we should be hearing more about how that's going to be affecting you know, the equity side of the house and how that's going to anti-correlate with the, obviously, the crypto side of the house, right? So contingent on a positive inflationary outlook, right? Contingent on the positive economic outlook, right? Which will subsequently propel the equity market to go up, which might drive a little bit more selling pressure to the crypto market, right? So that's something we have to understand further as we hear from the depictions from Michelle. Right, so tomorrow is, a, is not a major catalyst, but it is a catalyst that we need to look out for, right? So it's something to look out for. But today, because of the fact that based on the technical analysis, we know that the 1750 is a strong level to buy. So I'm gonna buy another five Ethereum to dollar cost average ever since the my purchase of the $2050 level that I bought a couple of days ago. I'm gonna further dollar cost average, so I will have a total of 45 Ethereum at this point right now after I make the purchase today. So what I see going forward contingent on the positive callus tomorrow, uh, which will subsequently have a negative pressure on the equity side, we should be rebounding. But that's something we need to verify more. But based on Jerome's outlook and based on James Bowler's outlook, right, how it contradicts. So tomorrow is kind of like a wild card that I don't, like frankly, I'm not a, a wizard and I cannot frankly predict what Michelle's going to say and how is that going to change the course of nature for the market dynamics going forward. But for me, I know based on the technical analysis that in the risk mitigation perspective, the dollar cost at this level is a wise thing to do if you think about this in more of a long-term perspective, right? So despite tomorrow to be a negative day again, right, we might potentially test back all the way down Right, and the and the sell off is not going to be a dramatic one. It's not going to be extremely sudden, but we might potentially test back all the way to the fifteen sixty seven, to be more specific, or the the yeah like the fifteen eighty dollars level as the next level of support that we'll be getting to, which is basically the bottom that we form before the scoop up. So if that happens, you just have to be, you know, you just have to stay strong. You have to hold still. These consecutive media affectation is influenced by a corporate entity, by a government official. So the more fear that's being stirred up into the market, it subsequently decreased the risk level of this asset. So for me, when it's lower risk and a more optimal price point, I'm buying. So there's a reason why I have a large cash reserve on the side for me to dollar cost average. So I plan on continuing to buy the dip, right? You have to call that BS. And eventually, with patience and with resiliency, your rewards will be given to you. Contingent on you not executing your trades based on emotions. Execute your trades based on logics. Execute your trades based on technical analysis. And how the macro shift is going to be going forward in the future. 
just to recap on all the numbers that we talked about in the technical analysis, I think the current level at the 1750 is definitely a very attractive one, despite me putting as a fair level, right? However, if we break the $1,750 level, contingent on the speech that we get from the feds tomorrow, right, or no more negative media affectations or no more black swan events, right? Again, we have four consecutive black swan events that would incur in the last week so far, right? So it seems like the influence is a little bit dramatic, right? Seems like there's some sort of pseudo manipulative play that's going on right now. That if that's going to be occurring, 1580 is coming. That's the next level of support for us, right? If we break that 1580 contingent on the news that we get on the inflationary outlook tomorrow, 1450 might be coming, right? But that's very unlikely, knowing the fact that we've sold up almost about 35% from the $2,600 stuff already. So for us to keep going down, you have to drill through even more substantive level of resistance for us to get there, right? So with respect to how fast we have jumped off the bridge, right? It only took us what? Four days for us to sell off about 40% of the asset price, right? With respect to corporate adoption, whatever goes down really, really fast comes up just as fast. Okay, you have to remember that. So I still stand correctly with the 20% of corporate adoption on 12 months target, right? $9,000. And in this level, you subsequently generate a 5.1 times your money from here. All right, so that's it for today with respect to my technical analysis on Ethereum ticket ETH. Hopefully this is helpful in giving you more clarity and transparencies around your price execution going forward. I think the level of support is definitely substantive at the $1,750 level. Right, but contingent on the Fed speech tomorrow, we might have a little bit of a sell-off going, you know. And with respect to the technical analysis, we should be up for a rebound shortly, right? And again, this four consecutive negative me factation is something we have to question, right? Why is it all happening all in a sudden, and why is it all happening consecutively, right? But hopefully, as you formulate your execution and the price points you're gonna be buying at, by practicing patience and practicing resiliency going forward. It will reward you big time going forward. So play long term, stay strong, and don't let emotions ruin your play going forward. So please hit the like button, subscribe button, also the bell notification, and watch out for the next one coming up. Take care, bye.